Okay, hello and welcome back to Pioneer. We're on uh, Salvini's world at uh, Salvani's world, I suppose, at uh, Smith Seville port. This is in the system of Hagledurn. Uh, Hagledurn, of course, is where is it? There it is. Hagledurn is part of the Obsidian Horde. That's right, we are still smuggling. We've got a hold full of nerve gas, and we need to go sell it somewhere. I'm going to tell you something, though. We're running out of places to buy nerve gas. Now, smuggling is great, because while demand stays fairly well, steady, Supply goes down. So, we have to start looking for some either new worlds or new commodities. And when it comes to smuggling, of course, that means we're going to have to either look into uh, battle... Well, we can't smuggle battle weapons from the Obsidian Horde to Soulfed, but we could go with Slaves, and I said before I don't want to go with slaves. Battle weapons, yeah, we could do battle weapons. We could do animals. Live uh, animals. Although, hmm, hold on a second. live animals not illegal at this particular system that's that's a little odd well uh, we don't have to worry about live animals because we're full up on nerve gas at the moment that is strange though so let's take a look at Venin real quick Venin Baranowski, Baranowski, colony and port raid. That one's that's easy to say. All right, let's go here. Thirteen tons of fuel. I gassed up and ready to go. Let's get it here. Let's make some money. So you can see the ring here on uh, Salvani's world. It's rather nice looking. It's just a ring. But rings are nice. Well, anyways, uh, you might have heard that no Man's Sky has gotten an update recently. I know No Man's Sky and, and games like Pioneer probably can't fit in the same category together. You know, uh, Pioneer, Elite Likes, Frontier Likes are space sim games. Right? You spend 99.99% of the time in the cockpit. Or on the title screen, I suppose, would be the the rest of the time in game. While No Man's Sky is more of a survival game set in space, but it has a lot of the aspects, a lot of the gameplay mechanics that make Pioneer another space sim game, space sim games. Right? You can trade. You can fight. You can be a pirate, you can smuggle, you can do all of those things. But it also has a lot of survival game elements. Right? You have meters to feed, and bases to build, and they're similar but not quite the same. Okay, yeah, we're in uh, Venin right now, so let's head to Port Ray. 
Oh no, we're going the wrong direction. But, I, you know, that said, there are a lot of people who play you know, space games who like No Man's Sky. And to be honest, I'm no exception. Even though they're really more adjacent games than uh, similar games. And it had a really big update. No Man's Sky uh, had a huge, huge update quite recently. And it added not a whole lot of stuff, but it added some really neat stuff. There's some new aliens and new life forms to find. But what's really cool about it is they redid some of the planet generation. So now, the water in No Man's Sky looks really, really nice. There are actual waves now. During storms, the waves will get bigger, and when there's when it's calm, well, they are smaller. And it looks really, really nice. It looks really great. There are, of course, people who are uh, disappointed in that because whenever Hello Games introduces an update that works, uh, reworks the planetary generation like this most recent one does, well, uh, the bases that people have built tend to get wonky and not look quite as good, not look quite like they should. So you've got people in, in both camps. Like, this is really good. This is a great update. And, oh, you've made my me best... You've made my best. You've made my base a mess. And I don't like that. Personally, I sit in the, uh, wow, this looks really nice category. So, you know, base building has never been a strong point for me. So... I will always enjoy. Oops, okay, we got stopped by some ship departing in Port Ray, it looks like. But I will always, always, always. That's a lot of hyperspace clouds. Take planetary generation over a base. A lot of people leaving Ray. I wonder what's wrong. <laughs> Another interesting thing that uh, they've done is start a new expedition. And expeditions in No Man's Sky are kind of like seasons in you know, action RPGs. You have a theme, and then you have various kinds of goals to fulfill during that particular expedition. This one is kind of based on Starship Troopers the movie or oh, what's that that first person shooter that came out recently that was really popular a team based thing Ah, uh, I've forgotten. But it's a little different than a lot of the other expeditions. And there have been combat uh, expeditions before, I think. Just not quite in the same way. This one is really intent on smashing the bad guys. It's not particularly long, to be honest. I've been playing it, and I think I finished it over the weekend. 
but like a lot of No Man's Sky expeditions, there are community aspects to it. And it's not completely over until the community finishes whatever community goal Hello Games has set for that particular expedition. And this time, well, it's bug smashing, it's enemy destroying. And that's, it's actually kind of fun. Uh, combat, first person combat in No Man's Sky is not particularly great, but it's not unfun. I have a good time with it. So, you know, this has been the expedition I really like. This has been an expedition I like. So yeah, here we are at Port Ray, and we've spent this entire time talking about something outside of Pioneer. <laughs> Maybe that's the key to successful approaches. Talk about stuff in Pioneer, I mess things up. But we talk about something else, maybe, maybe we do okay. Alright, let's level out. There. Let's see, there we are. There we are. Only one dollar docking fee, that's nice. So let's gas up and let's sell this. Uh, Canisters and nerve gas we have. So let's see, living sin is the only emporium here, isn't it? Okay, okay. So nerve gas, a major importer of nerve gas. That's nice. Not a major importer of live animals. So it looks like live animals aren't actually illegal in the system. Huh. Interesting. Battle weapons, not so great. Narcotics, not so great. Small arms, not so great. Hmm. Anyways, what's sell? Sell. 448 units for 83,000 credits, almost 84,000 credits. Boom. Sell, yes. Look at that. We have almost 600,000 credits now. Uh, you can tell that I've been doing a fair amount of smuggling. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Let's check the commodity market. Live animals. It's not illegal, but not a whole lot of stock or demand. Hmm. That's, that's interesting. So, like I was saying earlier, we have run out of places. Well, we haven't really run out of places. We have run out of easily accessible places to purchase nerve gas. So, I think I'm going to start working on live animals. And for live animals, that means cargo bay life support so it's only one ton we can buy it here so let's go ahead and grab the cargo bay life support let's see do they have any robots no they're a major Im or a minor importer of robots so we can't do anything with robots here so we're gonna have to find somewhere else to import robots export robots I should say Smuggle robots. Yeah, they, they. Live animals is illegal here. I wonder what the difference is between Venom and uh, Antar. They're both 
soul fed. I wonder if it's population or maybe it's the size. Small industrial colony, duess, some established mining. Live animals are illegal here too. Huh. Well, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. But next time we'll probably do some live animal smuggling. And since I have the cargo bay life support now, we can do that without having them uh, die as soon as we undock. Can you imagine what it would be like to have tons and tons of animals die not a minute after undocking? I'm not entirely sure how much uh, livestock weighs, but to imagine several cows buying several cows, leaving the port, and then they immediately die, and then you have to land and clean all that out, would be rather nasty. Or maybe they just, I don't know, freeze. It's, it's a little grotesque thinking about it. But anyways, um, right, next time, live animals. And we won't have to worry about them dying, so that's good. But anyways, that's enough for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, we'll see you all later, and goodbye.